right, here we are, Cape Porpoise, Maine, getting ready to launch out and head out to Trot Island, we'll, where I will be camping. And this will be my first uh, excursion on the Maine Island Trail, at least as far as camping on it. So, uh, yeah, I am pretty excited. I was able to get my friend to give me a ride here and then take my car back so I didn't have to worry about leaving my car overnight, which I can't do with this ramp. And the other ramp in the area is uh, kind of limited as far as the parking. So I really wasn't looking forward to coming up here and potentially not being able to find a spot. So uh, yeah, that was clutch getting him to do that for me. So thank you, Doug. But uh, I'm gonna get out there. It's got enough daylight left to um, get out there and get camp set up, get some firewood and ready to rock and roll once night falls so we're gonna get to it we'll see ya all right folks we're out here on the main island trail trot island it's a view out from my campsite this is trot island like i just said that's a stage island over there Set up here before it gets too dark. Get some firewood gathered, so I'll be ready to go once it, the darkness sets in. Ready to rock and roll, make dinner, and just enjoy being out here. It's pretty incredible. So, uh, yeah, glad I was able to make it out. I will see you later. Bye. All right, we've made it to camp, or uh, made it to the campfire. Just finished eating. Had a nice backpacker meal made here in Maine. And uh, just enjoying the fire now. Found some really uh, pretty good driftwood across the island or just uh, down the shore from here. And it's going pretty well so far. So, you know, a lot more wood back behind me. Got my saw out. So, uh, should have fire for most of the evening. So, going to be exciting. It's uh, definitely incredible being out here. No doubt about it. It's getting close to high tide. Um, not really very rough tonight. The wind was really kicking there for a while, but it's kind of died down, so that's good. It's supposed to be calmer overnight and tomorrow, so planning to explore the um, islands a little bit tomorrow. I don't think the, the, the seas are supposed to be fairly calm. You know, up to two feet, which is pretty pretty nice for up here, about as low as you're going to get. Sometimes you get them lower than two, around one, but that's pretty uncommon. You're pretty lucky if you're getting that, so the rest of the week it's going to be pretty heavy seas with there's a hurricane moving in from the um, caribbean it's supposed to pass pretty far off to the coast off the coast and go up to, and hit a, a new newfoundland stuff like that in, in canada but um it's definitely going to stir up the seas around here it always does it doesn't doesn't have to be close at all to get the seas going so yeah It'll be fun <laughs> get to get out, get the boat out, hopefully on the on the beach and play in uh, play around in the uh, heavy surf. So, all right, good morning. Here we are, Wednesday, September twenty first, at a Trot Island, getting some coffee going. It's absolutely beautiful out here. And I'm getting some pretty clear skies overnight. It's got some stars in it and everything. And uh, some real calm seas out there today. Marine forecast says it's supposed to be two to threes, but uh, definitely a lot lower than that right now. So I'm going to be have my coffee and breaking camp. I'm going to do some, go do some paddling, explore the islands. Should be calm enough to kind of go the outside of them. This will be really cool. Get the other view of uh, the stage islands over here, and then get the outside view of the uh, Goat Island Lighthouse, which is right at the uh, mouth of Cape Porpoise Harbor, which is where we're at. So it's going to be really, really cool. I'm pretty stoked about it. It's already been a great, great uh, camp out, and the uh, conclusion is going to be even more 
or I don't even know, I don't, I don't know if I want to say even, even better, but um, I'll say just as awesome. So we'll see you. All right, you're looking at Goat Island Lighthouse from the water. We just circled in from over there around the south end of Trot Island between Cape and Trot Island and went to the outside of Stage Islands. Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't get a whole lot calmer out here for uh, this kind of paddling on the ocean. So taking advantage. See this name of the game, staying away from the ledges out there. You can see the water, the waves hitting that. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty darn nice. So I'm gonna continue to paddle around the harbor here, explore, then go back to camp and pack up. We'll see ya.